Having fun now. Um, it's some greens. Then it's some fried chicken. Make sure you got it. You did a job, Daddy just makes it. <laughs> to ask where the dad at but i don't have to show him to prove a point and i feel like that's what youtube a lot of people feel like on youtube that we have to sh prove a point to people that's very like too nosy they want to know exactly what the daddy is doing which i feel like is really nobody's business <laughs> and I'm cleaning. I took the kids to the flash pad yesterday. So let me show y'all what I'm cooking. Um, it's some greens, then it's some fried chicken, and I got mac and cheese. That's what we're cooking today. I still got a whole pot of chicken to still cook. Let me show y'all. Whole thing of chicken, and then I got some chicken, and then so my sister is here with her kids, so I want to make sure, and my niece is here, so I want to make sure everybody got some food. Whew. I want to clean up this kitchen today. I want to at least wash the dishes and mop. That's my whole goal. Y'all, this is my whole goal. Like, mopping my floor is so the struggle with me. So yeah, so I'm gonna make me something to eat. The kids are already eating. I do want to make them some brownies, but it could be tomorrow's things I could get done. So I won't have to have so much to do. But I do have to wash dishes, so that's gonna be done when everybody is out of my kitchen. I'm gonna get this table together and I'm gonna mop. But I'm gonna make me, Bay, and my sister a plate so we can sit down, relax for a little bit, and then I'm start cleaning up. It's already eight o'clock, y'all. It's like really late, so I'm gonna try to eat eat my food and then get in here and clean up yeah i'll see you in a little bit hey y'all so it's the next day so i didn't even clean up i went straight to sleep esme is crying because i'm assuming he's hungry so i got a whole bunch of dishes to clean and a sink full of dishes to wash so that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna get in the shower and take care of myself but i want to take y'all along with me this vlog has been like jumbled i feel but it's okay i'm gonna get it together so y'all gonna watch me wash these dishes and at least get my kitchen together the kids do want to do brownies so i am gonna let them cook brownies today so they can have that while I'm washing dishes, they could just do the brown. So y'all gonna watch them do that. I'm gonna clean this table off first. And then, yeah, y'all gonna watch these kids do brown. Mommy, did daddy's done? Mommy, did daddy's done? Mommy, did daddy's done? You in front of the camera. You need to come over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So the kids are eating their food. Mommy, well, their brownies. Food. Is it good? Yeah. Okay. Good. RJ didn't get the memo yet, but mm. this is mine. This is theirs. Everybody else is eating. And as may it's sleep, y'all. Yeah. So I went to the store. I went to Myers, and I got my baby some bananas because he love bananas, mommy. So he wants some bananas already. So let me hurry up. I brought some cherries. These was like five dollars. They was on sale for a dollar right now. Okay, five dollars. Messes with bananas. It good? No. Good. <laughs> he rocked off. He only wanted a nana. You wanted a nana? You wanted a nana? <laughs> so I got watermelon because you know my babies love watermelon and bananas. I just told y'all about the cherries. I got cheese and I got um two mangoes because you know my babies love fruit. And then I got them this pizza. So I got this pizza when they had company. They cousins over. 
And RJ said he really liked this pizza. So I went and got some more in which it was $3 for 10. And I got a pepperoni in the, I think I got a pepperoni in the um, refrigerator. So I'm gonna just put some shredded cheese on it and that's gonna be the dinner. I'm gonna have rice and my kids don't eat steak. So Esme will probably eat some rice. I think I got another bag. If Nayori want rice, he can have rice. Or if Malaysia want rice, I'm gonna give them that. But they don't eat steak. So um, I will probably offer, no, I'm not gonna offer Esme steak because he might choke, so. Yeah, this is all I got. It's like a little mini haul. So, as I'm gonna come back for this banana. So, y'all, I gotta charge up my batteries for my camera. So, I'm on my phone. I gotta charge up my batteries for my camera because, y'all, I have to mop this floor. Like, this is my ultimate goal is to mop my floor. Like, I just don't understand how struggle it is, like, just to mop your floor. So, that's my goal tonight is to clean up this kitchen again. I I got another stack of dishes to wash, which is nothing but like two pots and a couple bowls. And then I'm gonna mop my kitchen and get that over with. But yeah, y'all, let's get to this day. So I wanna talk to y'all about a couple things. My last vlog, I went to the ER because I was cramping really bad. And I was like, I don't know if I wanna keep this birth control. So I still have to do an ultrasound. I have to um, really schedule an ultrasound and stuff like that. So. I have to do that. I talked to my OBGYN and that put my copper IUD in like put my copper <laughs> my birth control in me um and delivered my last two babies. Oh my god, what is this on my hair? <laughs> um she she told me that to um give it two more months and if I don't like it then we can they can change it or whatever so I've been like crimping really bad and my periods are really terrible but the cramps are very bad so she told me to try to take ibuprofen before my period start so I'm gonna try that and see like if that works I really like the birth control so I really like that birth control that I am on um I am on the copper IUD has no hormones so I've been looking up birth control pills and I cannot find one that does not have like a hormone that affects my depression. If you guys are on a birth control, a pill or something, and you have depression, let me know which birth control you use because I'm definitely thinking about switching, but I don't want to have a baby. So my other option was to try to take a birth control while I'm on my copper IUD, but my OBGYN was like, no, she don't want to do that. It's either pull it out or um, pull it out or keep it either way. So um, yeah, that's where I'm at. So my cramps are really bad. So I'm gonna try the um, the ibuprofen and see if that helps. Because either than that, I'm pretty fine with the birth control. Um, I know like if I wear my um, my um, shapers, if I wear it too tight, it cramps a lot down there. And I think it's because it's too much pressure down there. So it could be like a muscle that's doing something to that. So yeah, y'all. <laughs> I'm sorry to talk y'all ear off, but um, another thing is too, y'all, in the next video, because I usually try to do all my videos back to back, like when I'm done with a video, the next day I do a new video, so. But this week that I was, uh, like, it's been a family emergency, so I have not, like, really gave y'all a good vlog of my week or of my life. I feel like everything was, like, scrambled. So after this vlog, is going to be back to my routine, back to strictly schedule, back to stuff that y'all can see on the vlog that I will mention and it's going to happen, okay? So um, that's why this vlog is everywhere. So um, I have some people that was staying with me and then, well, not even staying, just visiting. And they are, um, they have left. So I'm trying to get my body back together. I'm trying to get my life back together. And 
get to my house okay because my house is it's not bad but it could be better um so me mopping that floor it won't be tonight and so it's been like three days i need to mop my floor my floor is being the worst has it ever been since i've been here so i need to mop my floor so tomorrow is going to be that day i get it done like get everything done but i just want y'all to know like i take my time when it comes down to like just not putting so much on me so i'm gonna mop my my floor on the next vlog i know that was this vlogs go but i'm definitely gonna push it for tomorrow so it could be on the next vlog all right and another thing i want to talk about because i seen cam i think it was Corey and cameron um i seen them um i seen cameron's cam cameron um video as she expressed her relationship and what the things they was going through and i just feel so bad for anybody that's going through that type of relationship um please seek help and if you are a person that's their friend and they're going through it always try to be there no matter if they go back to that person or not go back to that person so um so um i really feel like if you you have a person or if you are going through a relationship that involves violence then i feel like you should seek help you know what i mean and don't be afraid to voice your your problems in your relationship a lot of people try to hide it because they're scared that they're going to get a reaction out of the next person or the next person is going to tell them i told you so and to be honest that's what a lot of people say i told you so so just if you're if you have a friend that go through it or whatever just be there and support them like that's it that's all so um another thing too as i talk about this i want to talk about my own relationship um and i feel like this i know a lot of people ask this question where is they father why is they father never in the vlogs but i'm gonna let you know he's not gonna never be in a vlog it does not mean he's not there i'm just not recording him <laughs> he's not going to be in the vlogs and i respect that because i've been with my man for going on 15 years i believe it's 15 years because she'll be 14 15 to 14 years i don't know i'm not even keeping count like that's how it is but um i respect that so if you see me and you see my kids and just let it you know dad is here it's just that i don't discuss it and i stopped really talking about our relationship on youtube because i had a lot of people that put their own opinions in it and actually act like they had facts of what they thought they knew about my relationship which they don't so i stopped saying it but then i was like no you know skip that i'm going to talk about my relationship because my relationship is what it is you know what i mean because they say one thing on the internet does not mean that's my reality <laughs> they opinion is not my reality okay so my relationship has been up and down but i refuse to ever put any of our problems or any we barely have problems like we barely fight you know because we did all that back in back a long time ago we went through the struggles that a lot of people probably going through struggles now but we already went through that like we communicate easily we don't fight our kids not used to fighting like they not even used to us arguing at all so um so i just want to say that i am going to talk about my relationship but i won't you know i'm probably going to mention what bae does but like our relationship relationship is not going to be on the internet you would never know what we're going through because it would never be on the internet i would never tell everybody our business because i used to be like yeah you know this net but i stopped like i'm not telling nobody my business when it comes down to me and my man but i do want whoever is new because i have a lot of new people that came um that came to support me thank you so much but bae is there you just not going to see it's a lot of youtubers that do not film their significant other it's because of whatever reason and i respect my fiance um 
opinion he's a very a closed off person he is very homey he loves his privacy so him being on camera is just not what it is but you will see him peek in peek out type stuff but remember this is just a glimpse of my day like i showed y'all i think four days in this vlog and that is like not even an hour of our day like it's crazy to me but it does make a vlog so i do want y'all to understand you know to get that that bay is here it's just that he doesn't want to be in a vlog and really my deep cleaning i like to do deep cleaning by myself i really love to do my vlog with my kids by myself you know it is what it is if we're doing something i'm out and about you know i'm filming it you know and he's probably walking right next to me but you would never know because he won't be in a vlog you know what i mean <laughs> but i just want y'all to understand that because i know i have a lot of people here that ask where the dad at but i don't have to show him to prove a point and i feel like that's what youtube a lot of people feel like on youtube that we have to sh prove a point to people that's very like too nosy they want to know exactly what the daddy is doing which i feel like is really nobody's business because if i'm just showing you me and my kids and i'm telling y'all it's just me and my kids it's really nobody's business to under to know what my man is doing you know what i mean as long as i know what he's doing i'm good with it it has nothing to do with nobody else but i think that's the stigma to the stigma to I feel like that is the issue with the internet stuff is that people are too focused on another person's relationship instead of supporting the next person. So I just want to end the video here and I want to tell y'all, thank y'all for supporting me and I will see y'all on the next a vlog. I love y'all so much. Deuces.